Think of Bitcoin as an open messaging system secured by public key cryptography secured through digital message signatures created with a unique private key. In contrast to systems protected by username and password logins, this single point of access, a private key, means it's critical to securely generate, use, and store it. A basic understanding of the private key can protect you from loss or theft, but it also provides insight into how Bitcoin works. A private key creates an unforgeable message signature and must be kept secret. The public and private keys are mathematically linked through a signature algorithm. If this is all new to you, then continue watching to learn more about private keys. A private key. The Bitcoin private key is a number that, for practical purposes, is essentially infinite. If one could process one trillion private keys per second, it would take more than one million times the age of the universe to count them all, making it infeasible to map this vast key space. The chance of someone finding one private key via brute force is a number with 48 zeros on the right side. Because private keys contain many digits, an alternative called Wallet Import Format WIF, was created to make it easier to copy and use. For added security, private keys are also sometimes encrypted. Decrypting a private key encoded in this manner requires the password that was set when it was encrypted. Using a private key. Bitcoin requires that each transaction bear a digital signature to prevent forgery. Like a private key, this signature is just a number selected from a very large range that is generated by wallet software to mathematically process the transaction together with the correct private key. Anyone can authenticate a message or transaction with a signature and public key. However, to produce a valid message or transaction, the private key matching the published private key must be used, making digital signatures practically impossible to forge. A transaction signature changes unpredictably if the transaction changes even slightly, thus only the person in possession of the private key can provide the correct signature. The important point to realize is that the digitally signed messages transactions can be quickly and inexpensively checked for authenticity. Securing a private key. Private keys are most vulnerable when they're stored or transmitted, which means selection of a wallet is important. A Bitcoin wallet is like your bank account. It's used to store, send, and receive Bitcoins. The public key is used to send and receive, but the private key gives you access to your account, which can be classified as either a hot or cold storage wallet. Wallet software hides the process of generating, using, and storing private keys, so understanding security and how they interact with chosen software is important. Hot wallet refers to any type of online storage wallet, meaning it's accessible via a web portal and therefore is susceptible to hacking. Cold wallet refers to any type of offline storage, meaning it's more secure because hackers don't have access to physically stored wallets. Different wallet types. There are four types of Bitcoin wallets. Software wallets, online wallets, paper wallets, and hardware wallets. The first is software wallets, which are hot wallets that require download of software to create and use either on a desktop or mobile device. Online wallets are the easiest to use and the least recommended because the user doesn't hold the private keys for funds stored. Then there are paper wallets, which are more secure than software or online wallets simply because the private keys are physically printed on paper, making this a cold wallet option. Last, there's the hardware wallet, which is considered the most secure option for storing Bitcoin. These cold storage devices are USB shaped and are plugged into a computer only while making a transaction. Bitcoin is a complex form of currency, but once you understand how it all works, you'll see that it's not all that complicated. If you'd like to learn more about cryptocurrencies, then visit our site today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.